Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back! Hello fellow farmers, welcome back to Wednesday Shenanigans, welcome back to PV Country, Country, County, and uh, welcome back to uh, a very interesting episode. Uh, I am just in the process of removing the trees over here because we need to prepare to lay down the orchards and the greenhouses. I don't think we got enough room, but um, yeah, I think we need to have, a, have it placed out so we have... Uh, greenhouses on this side of the lake and then possibly orchards over there um, because uh, things are starting to pile up and uh, yeah it's also getting a little bit of a lag um, but of course we're building at the same place but this is just for convenience if you're gonna play it yourself then I suggest you uh, spread your buildings uh, over the map even though it takes a little bit longer to do things and drive around with the resources it's um, it's worth it in the end, uh, but yeah, you can see I got, I got 20 frames uh, right above here um, because there's so many buildings. 60 over here, no problem. But yeah, we got a lot of silos. We got two storages. We got all the saw mill buildings, all the forestry buildings. We got the shell, and yeah, there's a lot going on around here. So it makes uh, it makes sense. It's only natural. Right, we're not so bothered about things over here at the sawmill. It's been running flat out, and let me tell you, I've been processing a lot of wood, uh, mostly chipboards, and I've been filling up this whole uh, warehouse with um, well, stuff, wood products. It's filled up with resin, pellets, and pallets, and whatnot, boards, and this one I've just just uh, begun to uh, fill up. Uh, filled up with resin and uh, I think that was that far I got because it is storage building time today or in this episode and uh, what, what do I mean with that well let's just run over the bridge here and take a look at all the wonderful buildings we have over here so we got the concrete and uh, we got the steelworks here and we got the gypsum and then we got the storage build uh, we got the explosive sheds here because we're gonna blow stuff up today. Yes, we are. And there's the uh, the silo, farm silo, and here's the storage. And uh, yeah, I've been on it very much. Filled it up with barriers and concrete and glue and uh, some of the other stuff here. And the factory's been running flat out. And I think even we have a lot of uh, concrete going on up here. Yes, yeah, it's filled up as well because we have plunked down all of the storages over here now this one is going to be interesting to see what this actually is because this should be the code storage um, but it says storage construction uh, just as this one so either we're going to have a duplet <laughs> or we're going to have the code storage here um, I am very much uh, sure that uh, we put down the right things uh, because I was took from the warehouses no not the cold storage sorry the soup and beer storage should be this one in front of us uh, because I took it from one end on and then I just plunked it down just soup and storage here and then next thing over there and yeah uh, the cold storage just over there and then put down the dry good storage and the food storage and the produce storage and then to farm uh, storage is just here and why too well it looked so lonely <laughs> alone um, so we got all the storages here and I've been working uh, pretty much driving back and forth uh, so we should only need chipboards and concrete and that's why I've been working so hard at the chipboards uh, we should have enough I mean we need 40 there and I think we're gonna need uh, 30 here um, if everything is coordinated as well, I should have uh, a flowchart up on my 
travel site just as this recording is out and there I've uh, written down what needs uh, how many resources needs to go where uh, you can also find it on the PB mod site they got some pretty cool uh, articles so if you just free of choice right? you can go to PB mods and you can look at my flowcharts for the storages it's not that that big of a deal I mean it's just a resource uh, distribution and then just wait it for build so that's at least one of the things we need to look into today is getting that built and blow up stuff and then prepare for the orchards and the greenhouses so there will be a lot of cuts involved and there will be some time lapses uh, because it's going to take its sweet time um it always does i mean these episodes they might might be 30 minutes long but it's gonna take me around i don't know five or six in game uh five or six hours in real life uh possibly even days um, so here we go uh, now what we got what we got on this truck here uh, can we see no can we see now kind of forgot how much stuff we had uh, planes so we don't need more planes no okay well let's get them back to the storage then Yeah, how many frames do we have? Oh, yeah, 32. Ah. Yeah, just have to uh, tilt the camera view a little bit. Looking down to the uh, the ground, then it should be okay. So, yeah, and oh, yeah, this uh, utility trailer here has been updated. So, um, when we're gonna blow stuff up, we can pick up uh, single items, we can pick up stones, and we can pick up uh, the glass uh, from the blown up buildings and uh, i've been advised to not blow all the buildings up at once because it's gonna cause terrible lag um so just one at a time and well i don't know makes sense turn around there we go uh, we could get a road trade going so we have two flatbeds I think we're gonna do that later on. Make a road train of two or uh, even three uh, flatbeds uh, when we're gonna need to drive a little more around this way. Jeez, what was that? Oh, that's not level. Well, it is, but not the same. <laughs> that's the same as the others. Oh, didn't even notice that. So, what I think we're gonna do now, this place here only needs concrete yes so we can take the concrete truck and put the uh, what it needs in here so we're gonna start that being built and then we're gonna transport chipboards to the rest of the factories like uh, in a time lapse because then yeah then it's you can see the uh, different storages getting built while I'm transporting the last of the things so uh, yeah see you on the other side please enjoy
And there we go. We got all the storages built. Hooray! That's pretty awesome. So, luckily it was the soup and the brewage that uh, was being built over here. I was just a little bit in doubt. But when we got the uh, the top layer, I mean, that's this uh, gray, right? And this one is blue, so it was just, oh, phew. That was a close one. Uh, look at all those lovely things we can put in here. Burgers, potatoes, rice, ham, Swiss, dumplings, even Pepsi, and Drew, and whiskey. Wow. Gonna be so busy here. Uh, more vodka. Oh, wow. Cool. Right? What do we got over here? Yeah, I think I need to landscape this a little bit. Let's do that. I was gonna forget. Just gonna crank up the uh, the strength of the brush to three. It's gonna go a little bit faster. Let me go. Expand a little bit and boom. Yeah, I might have missed, you know, a little bit, a little bit leveling out in the landscape, and then when you put down the structure, it just follows the highest or the lowest point, and then boop. Whoopsies. That'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just like that. See? No problem. Right. Yeah, it's gonna avoid a little accident or two. Yeah, you can always give it more. What do you got here? Lard, pizzas, mm, cheese, cream, butter, eggs, duck eggs. Mm, intriguing. Right? And bacon, pork, ham, sausage, pepperoni, ground beef, steak, mutton, chicken filet, and chavon. <laughs> so much on this map. Holy potato. Uh, foods. What we got here? We got what? Oh, it's break uh, cereals. Oh, okay. Frosted flakes, crispy sweets, classic onion, peanut butter, mm, peanut butter, peanut oil, honey roasted. I thought it said honey bastard. Just what? Oh, roasted. <laughs> Just, <laughs> uh, we got ketchup, salt, mustard, wine, wine gear, mustard, vinaigrette, molasses. Oh, uh, what we got over here? That's the dry goods storage. What we got? We got wax, honey, candle, file, file out, soap, charcoal, fabric, sex, sweaters, pillows. Oh my dear god. Wheat bread, multigrain, grain orange, wheat, flour, sugar, yeast. <sighs> I think my brain's gonna explode in a few seconds. And what's this? The produce. Ah, uh, okay, so that's for all the greenhouses. Yeah, that's right. That's why I put it out here, because we have the bridge right here on the other side. There we go. And the greenhouses and orchards is supposed to be placed just over there. And I was talking about... What did I say with the greenhouse and orchards here? Wasn't that the idea? I think so. Yep. That's perfect. So, what we got? Cauliflower, cucumber, lettuce, mushrooms, pumpkin, raspberries, red cabbage, strawberry, tomato, <gasps> watermelon. Alright. And what was it over here? S strawberries, I guess. Apple, apricot, banana, cherry, coconut, olive, orange, peach, pear, and plum. <sighs> yeah, and we can have all different kind of, uh, what is it, food we can have in here. Let's see if I can find the... Uh, no PV dot. No? Okay. Uh, well, you can push R anyways. Yeah, goat food, sheep food, chicken food, all the animal food. F wool storage. Okay, that's good. Down storage. Down. Down? Hmm. We're gonna figure that out. Cashmere. From the goats. GMR. Silage. Hey. Compost. Oh, wonderful. Cool. Right. That's excellent. And what's the frame rate? 21. Yeah. Well, it's more or less the same as it was before. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Ah, you've got 18. Yeah. So just bear that in mind when you build yourself. Just place the buildings. Especially the larger building is a little bit further away from each other than I have done here. But this is just for showcase shenanigans purposes, right? Uh, why don't we take this back over to the other side? Yeah, I I think I have read a number wrong somewhere that happens. 
I thought we needed a lot more logs. What did I say? I said something about six or eight containers and we hardly used two. So I think I have thought of the concrete instead. I think that was the case uh, because you can deliver concrete both in the containers and in the uh, concrete mixer. I think I just got those number mixed up in my head. So apologize for that one, but yeah. There you go. Uh, so, just gonna plunk that off here, store it for some more builds, which I guess we're gonna have in the future. Just gonna put this in. Can I, you can do it. Yes, gonna, thank you. Try to avoid uh, having uh, things spawned too much because that will uh, give cause to lag as well. Maybe we should clean up a little here. E yes, let me just do that and make sure nothing is spawned, at least on the spawn points. So I might have been a little uh, you know, uh, optimistic. I was uh, just uh, flying around the map to see if uh, I could find a building we could blow up. And there's lots of buildings we can blow up. And the whole idea is that there's, there's buildings scattered all over the map um, that you can blow up and then you can have some resources and you have more space to build and place your placeables, buildings. However, most of the buildings are required can only be reached uh, by building the bridges. And uh, I was a little bit in doubt if we should build the storage first or we should have built the bridges. And I can see now we probably should have built the bridges. But that's no issue. I think, I'm not sure, I think, and I'm gonna go for an exploration. Uh, there is one building we can reach by heading up through the mountains uh, and then we can blow our way through some tunnels. And then I think that'll provide us access to one building at least. I'm not sure, but um, we might as well try it. At least we got a chance to blow some stuff up. Uh, the mine entrances with the rocks and everything, so uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. And uh, well, this utility trailer here has been updated, as I said, uh, so we can now pick up these lovely uh, glass and explosives and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, of course, we're gonna do that, and uh, we're gonna fill up this trailer, right? Of course, we are. Is it too much? Yes, of course, it is. But uh, that's just the way it is, right? Rather have too much than none at all. Uh, I don't even know. Do we have to? Yes, we have to. No, I said it, and we're going to do it. There we go. 45 units of explosives. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> and then I think we're going down here. Oh, dear. But at least we're going to be able to blow some rocks up. Maybe not buildings, not this time around. We need to build some bridges. So, let's see. Ha 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 look at this. Explosives, yes. Indeed. So, how are we going to do this? Uh, we need to unload them all. So, we're going to pick one up. And uh, throw them on there. Alright, you ready? Oh. Run! Oi! Oh, stones! Oh! Oh, that's a lot of explosives we need to do to take care of. Oh, well, that's good we have 45. So, we got the auto load. Uh, but, so that's stones. And this is gravel. Right, um, well, millet machine for the gravel, I guess. I got the got the, that down in the coal mine just very close by. Um, but we need some kind of a truck for the stones or a trailer. Hmm. All right, hang on. This just became a major operation. 
Well, as I said, let's turn it into a quite the mining operation. That's okay. Uh, bought the low loader and we've got the tractor to support it. Uh, we got the Maya milling machine fixed or brought over from the coal mine. Got the truck up and then I also picked up this uh, the Volvo here we had down at the stone crusher because there were stones. Let's get through this mine shaft. There we go. Nice and easy. Come on. I know we can do it. Looks better in cap. Yeah, maybe a little bit. And we've got 10 stones. Ah, of course we've got 13. Yeah, of course. Put it there. And load you. Oh. Oh. So easy now. Easy now. Like that. And what does the trailer say? Uh, Lodestone? No? Stone. And... Uh huh. 17. Okay. So you... 17. That's an odd number. So you take 17 stones. Alright. Uh, explosive. <laughs> well, there's no problem with the, uh, the gravel. That's gonna be no problem. Small as stones. There's stones everywhere. Hmm. just invested in a new stone crush cruncher crusher and uh, why because the stone is just piling up we got stones in this trailer here and I thought well I'll just make a new stone crusher and drive the stones all the way up to and then we're gonna start crushing them they're gonna give us gypsum and lime and limestone and all the good stuff and I was about to get diesel and I thought oh come on this this can't be this can be right I mean, how can how can we uh, how can we do this better? How about these query silos? Hmm? The query silos, they, we gotta use those for something. Let me show you. Because there's a there's a lot of gravel and there's a lot of stones. So uh, my suggestion to you is um, get this utility or get the uh, auto load bucket for the stones. And then you can collect the stones and you can get the millet machine and you can collect the gravel and do what I did here place this quarry silo outside the mine uh well, it's not a mine shaft but the mine drive away or what you are where you're blowing up stuff i'm gonna take all the stones here either by using this utility trailer let's just fill it all the way up yeah you see how much it's lacking it's terrible and we've got the same amount of stones in the trailer across the map <laughs> well just drive it up to here and yes it is a thing it is definitely a thing oh and there we go now the downside is that the uh, I mean the silo here hold 1 million and each of the stone is 25,000 so it's it's going to be filled up pretty fast, but you can, uh, I think you can put on extensions and things like that. Now, I have to clear all these trees and just let it look, make it look a bit more pretty up here. But, um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, see all these uh, stones we put in, it was 425,000. There was only one trailer full. So, there's a lot of stones here. Yes, there is. Um, so that's one tip we can continue in here and see how much i uh, oh explosives yeah i think we're almost there um but i think we've still got a few explosions to go 
maybe 10, 15. And it's a long way. It's a long way up here. There we go. Stop picking up the stones because now it's yeah now it's no issue to picking up the stones because I was picking up the stones and was thinking oh where are we gonna put all these stones I'm getting stressed how are we gonna how are we gonna cope with all these stones oops not the wrong one well and the gravel look it can go in the uh, query silo as well so if you place a query silo just outside the door or just outside the entrance for the mining then you should be good to go. Not these stupid stones, go away. Jump in the trailer. Thank you. We gotta be close to getting out here. Oh, is that the light? I, it's the light I can see. <gasps> There's only one left. <gasps> There's only one more. Only one more. Wow, this is taking a long time. Holy potato. You won't even know how long this time it took. All right, the very last one, very last one. Come on, come on. Freedom, freedom. Come on. Hello? No. Hello? Hooray! We got out! Yay! Look at all this. I guess it's... Iron? Wow! Whew. Well, still on the lookout for the um, the um, the house we can blow up. Uh, I think it's over there. <laughs> Should we just run over and take a look? All right. Second thoughts. Um, it's buried. Uh, still, there's two tunnels we need to go through. Um, so we didn't get a chance to blow up some buildings, but we got a chance to blow up some uh, some rocks a lot of rocks yeah we need to go through this as well and then on the other side there should be a house we can play around with and there's also a supply building something looks very interesting um i was just flying over there to take a look because i wanted to navigate so we're not going completely wrong direction but we're not i just uh haven't expected that it would take this long and it would have required so much explosion uh, for getting up here, I am going to prepare for the uh, the orchards and the greenhouses. Um, it's just uh, taking a lot of trees down. You don't need to watch that. What you need to do is to tell me in the comment section below if there's something specific you want me to cover uh, here on PV County. Um, it's a good startup process, and actually we can more or less go from wherever we want. Uh, from here, uh, of course, building a lot of bridges. But I mean, we got the uh, construction factories going. We got the uh, the forestry going, obviously. And then we're just trying bits and bobs now, and uh, getting into greenhouses and orchards, and also um, be, uh, building the bridges. Then we are pretty much good to go wherever the map we want. Um, so yeah, please let me know in the comment section below if there's something specific you want me to cover on PVC. Uh, but else, I thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, then please take care, stay safe and be cool. Bye.